Hi, it's Sunday dinner. Me, I'm Chef Anthony Pino. Today we're going to make for you a perfect crab cake for you to enjoy during the summer season. So first let's start off with some great ingredients. I have here some lump crab meat that you can buy at the grocery store. I pick through it thoroughly so there's no little pieces of cartilage and shells which is really important and really what makes the crab cake flawless. Some other ingredients, Dijon mustard, Cajun spice, peppers, cilantro, all those great ingredients that you can put together to make an awesome dish. So first we're going to start by mixing our crab cakes. So here I have the crab meat. I've got it, this is about a half a pound. Okay, it's jumbo lump, lump crab meat, it's awesome, it's delicious. We're going to have that, and we're going to mix that with about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay. Smooth, and you can use a whole grain, but for me, I prefer uh, Dijon. So, that inside there. I have some finely diced red peppers. Bang that inside. Scallions or red onions works fine, but scallions I like them a little bit more delicate and really add to a, uh, a more smooth flavor of uh, crab cake. And for me, I have a little bit of Old Bay spices here. So I'm going to sprinkle that on the inside, okay? Now, when you're cooking this, the crab cake, the real basis of it is to make it nice and smooth and tender. The crab meat, when you buy it, is already cooked. So when you do cook it, you're just cooking it to heat it through. So with this, I'm going to add just a little bit of mayonnaise. The mayonnaise, along with some, a little bit of uh, unseasoned breadcrumb, is going to uh, bind it and what's going to really going to help hold it together. I'm going to heat up some canola oil during this time while we're going to mix this together. Be a little bit generous because you want it to fry and you don't want it to stick. I'm using a non-stick pan. Okay? So that, along with some unseasoned breadcrumbs, you can always add more. You can never take it away. So be, be cautious when you're doing that. And I'm going to fold everything together nicely. Now when you're doing this, look at these great ingredients. Look how delicious that looks. And it has good color, good red, good green, a little for flavor, a little for color. Okay? Mixing it all together. See, I see that's still a little wet. I'm gonna add just a little bit more breadcrumbs because you want these to be able just to pat together, just enough, so it holds well while you're frying them. And you're not deep frying these, you're lightly frying them. You wanna take a look at this mixture right here? Okay, that looks great. Okay, so now that the, the oil is pretty hot, all right, we're gonna get some of this. And we're gonna put it in there. You hear that sound? That's when you know your oil is hot. I'm going to turn it down so I know that it's not going to burn. You want these to get golden brown on both sides. This is a great item for Father's Day. Dads love crabs. Cakes, that is. And um, so we're going to work these down. Just pat them down a little bit. And these look nice and healthy crab cakes. That would be very happy with these. We'll get another one going right here. You turn down the heat so they do heat through. I'm going to move this off to the side. Now we're going to start a real nice salsa that goes along with this. I have some fresh corn, which I'm going to show you how to remove from the husk. But we're going to start with some fresh corn right off the husk. I have some red onions, just a little bit. When you make this like a remoulade, this remoulade is something that's nice and crunchy. It's going to go along really well with a crab cake. So along with that, all right, where's my knife? Where's my knife? Some red, red peppers. These are a little spicy, so I'm not going to add too much, but it's definitely going to add great flavor to this great dish. A little of this, a little of that. Okay, I have some fresh cilantro here. I like to tear my cilantro. Give it good color, good flavor. Little for flavor, little for color. And then just a little bit of mayonnaise. Now that these have been cooking, let's see what they look like. You know, they need a little bit more heat. So those are coming along nicely. Let me put that back over here. We'll take some lime juice. Right. Love that lime citrus. I just love like that whole southwestern feel along with crab cakes. So we're going to move that to the side. Right. Remember I told you how to remove, remove the uh, corn? This is the whole, this is what makes it really easy. Fresh corn, uh, take off the husk. You gotta make, make sure you move all the hair off, okay? Once the hair is all off like that, 
pull it down, and then she can go like this. Put like a little bowl underneath, and all the corn will fall into that, and everywhere else. <laughs> so that's how you do it. And then you get the corn, right? And where did my bowl go? Okay, it's back over here. I'm gonna mix that into there. This, uh, get this out of the way. Now I see the crack. It looks like they're browning it nicely. Oh, awesome. These things are gonna be so good. Look at those crab cakes. Look at those babies. They're looking slamming, right? So now that those are cooking, and they're almost cooked all the way through. So now I'm going to start mixing my remy lot. Nice corn, cilantro, a little bit of salt, black pepper. Okay. I'm going to mix this all through. And it's coming through. Okay. Like that. Everything is looking good. And that. You can tell these crab cakes are ready to go, so we're going to plate this up. Two beautiful crab cakes per person is like a perfect, perfect entree portion. So I have something like that. Some of my corn salsa. Like this. Put that off. And many of you know me, I like microgreens, micro arugula. So nothing wrong with a little garni like this. Just like this. On top, almost like your little greens that you need for the day. We're making crab cakes for dinner. How good is that sound? Yeah, she loves that. Look, Bianca loves crab cakes. And just to finish it off, man, like I said, Southwestern and citrus zest all together is perfect. Basketball in the house. A little bit of wine zest right over top is a perfect addition to crab cakes at home for Father's Day. Hey, Bianca, can you give it a try? There you go, baby. You like that? The whole thing, you know? That's it. You like that? Yeah. She's a good eater. Crab cakes are perfect. The family will love them. Enjoy them. Father's Day is around the corner. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon. You can find the recipe at anthonydavis.com. We love you. Say bye, baby. Bye. Bye, baby. Love you.